In this video, we will talk about the biological species concept. According to this concept, a species is a group of interbreeding natural populations that is reproductively isolated from other such groups. So according to this, a species acts as a reproductive unit, ecological unit and a genetic unit. So it can be said that a species is a protected gene pool. What is meant by protected gene pool? It means that it is a genetic unit and due to uh, they do not interbreed with the members of other species. So the genetic makeup is not exchanged with other species. So we can say that it is a protected gene pool. The figure indicates that a single ancestral species of finch gave rise to 14 species of finches due to the availability of diverse habitats so it can be said that a species acts as an ecological unit and the species adapted to the variable habitats and it is an example of adaptive radiation so what are the difficulties with application of biological species concept it includes uh, insufficient information uniparental reproduction evolutionary intermediacy and the concept of semi-species and allo-species so we are going to discuss uh, these one by one in detail first of all insufficient information the morphological variations within the individuals of a single species create doubt whether these uh, individuals belong to the same species or not or um, these are just uh, a morphotype or uh, a phenomenon within this species so it is because of sexual dimorphism it means that the morphology of uh, male and female of a single species is very different from each other and next is age difference it means that the immature and mature stages are altogether different from each other completely different from each other next is polymorphism it means that different body forms exist within a single species so if uh, the data regarding the particular species that you are considering while applying the biological uh, species concept if uh, the information is insufficient then you can face difficulty while implementing the biological species concept to a particular species next is uniparental reproduction Uniparental reproduction means that uh, the reproduction process involves only a single parent and it occurs in case of hermaphroditism. Uh, hermaphroditism means that both the male and female sex organs are present in a single individual. Automexis means that gametes are produced within a single uh, individual and the gamete, fusion of gametes also occurs in that particular individual next is parthenogenesis parthenogenesis means that uh, the egg the development of egg starts without fertilization uh, by the sperm and uh, next gynogenesis and vegetative reproduction it means that any vegetative part or the formation of a new individual takes place by budding from the parental body so these are the examples of uniparental reproduction and uh, parthenogenesis occurs in many insects and uh, lower vertebrates including reptiles so it also occurs in some of the reptiles including lizards some of the lizards undergo the process of parthenogenesis so um, biological species concept focuses on interbreeding populations so this is not the case with uh, uniparental reproduction there is uh, no interbreeding and no recombination of genetic material so these uniparental lineages are uh, also called agamo species binomes or para species so uh, what is the case with the aphids galvasps and rotifers uh, where there is an alternation of generation and uh, there is uh, an alternation of sexual uh, breeding generation with uh, parthenogenetic generations so neither of these generations can be regarded as a single species on the basis of a single generation we cannot say that it is we cannot apply biological species concept to any of these generations so in some cases parthenogenetic generations fail to return to sexuality there is no alternation of generation some of the individuals 
carry on the parthenogenetic uh, process for reproduction whereas others continue the sexual reproduction so if there are uh, sufficient differences between the sexually reproducing population and the parthenogenetically reproducing population then we can uh, uh, categorize them as a separate species if there are certain forms in which they only reproduce parthenogenetically and no evolutionary evidence uh, their evolutionary history provides no evidence of uh, sexual reproduction then the application of biological species concept to such form is justified evolutionary intermediacy means that uh, the populations of a single species are reproductively isolated or isolated from each other and are in the process of evolving into new species so uh, in this case we can say that there are two factors that are considered reproductive isolation has been acquired but the, their morphological characteristics have not changed so in the reproductively isolated species without morphological differences such species are known as sibling species the other cases where there are great morphological differences but there is no reproductive isolation so it can be said that if they are not reproductively isolated they can interbreed with each other at random this leads to the production of hybrid swarms and uh, parthenogenetic species are formed by hybridization next is the concept of semi species and allo species allo species are the species that are geographically isolated from each other complete completely reproductively isolated from each other whereas semi species are the species that are not completely isolated from each other but there is a hybrid zone between the species in case of evolutionary intermediacy the biological species concept cannot be applied to such species that are undergoing the process of evolution 